Trek. Um, now, Star Trek director uh, Jeremy Lin, I believe his name is. Yes. Uh, why did I have this written down? I can't figure it out. But yeah, so That's the new yeah, Justin Lin. Sorry, <laughs> Justin Lin. New Star Trek director Justin Lin has come out recently in an interview with Deadline and has said that he's trying to take Star Trek back to its roots. And this is his quote. Um, they haven't gone on their five-year mission. So what we experienced in the TV show hasn't been touched on yet. That sets up an opportunity for exploration, and a deep. And the more deeper you go, the more you're examining humanity. Those the are the things. I've did he say that, or did you say that? No, I'm 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 in the middle of a quote here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Those it's are the things though, that I absorbed as a kid, and hope to tap into, and embrace, and celebrate. So, the way J.J. Abrams rebooted the series, and now J.J. Abrams is an admitted, uh, not so much a Star Trek fan. But he took it more of an action-adventure movie instead of the exploration-type movie. So Justin Lin is kind of trying to veer Star Trek back to the way it used to be. We all remember the TV shows. I myself was more of a Star Trek Next Generation fan. Brendan, I know yourself as well. I don't know. Marcus, what was your favorite one of the Star Trek shows? I really liked uh, the DS9 through Voyager uh, era the best. I gotta say, DS Nine probably has my my heart the most. Uh, the Dominion. The, I cried at the end when Odin yeah. went back in the pool. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I I love DS Nine too, and that was at that time. Um, it actually, it, they used to show Hercules: The Legendary Journeys after Saturday Night Morning Cartoons, and then they started picking up with DS Nine, and so I loved that show. That was that that's that's one of my favorite ones right there. But um. They were all about exploration, you know, seeing other races. Well, DS9 wasn't really about exploration. Yes, they were. They explored the whole Delta car. They explored, yeah. There was a Some, lot but, of... But a lot of the show happened, you know, on a space station. Well, that's true. Station. That's true. I mean, it was they, a little bit different. Exploration happens. But Lots of it's exploration. Not, exploration. I, I think it was more like, um, like characterized uh, exploration. I guess mm-hmm. more abstract because they were on the frontier and they were, uh, like, the rules of the Federation didn't quite cover them. And yeah, and they were delving into the different personalities you might get from the different races of aliens more than, I'd say, any of the other ones. Uh, you know, Next Generation definitely had really good insight into the Cleons with uh, Worf. But other than that, I mean, was there really any highlighted alien species? Not really, you know. And so DS9, I think that's where they took that well. So it looks like Justin Lin, that's where he really wants to go with it. He wants to introduce new species. Uh, he's kind of done with the Romulans and, and all them as the villains and the Cleons as the villains. He wants to take them and start them on their five-year mission and kind of show us what's going to happen. Now, I have a couple questions. Now, exploration works perfect for an episodic TV show because mm-hmm. every week you have something new happening, but then you can always kind of bring yourself back to square one. Is that going to work for a TV show? I mean, for a movie. Yeah, that, that was actually my thinking too. Is this? I don't think it, it it fits a movie really, not a Star Trek movie anyway. And if you look at all the Star Trek movies, I, you know there are a few where they go out and they find a new place and they do something there. They're not the ones that people like. Yeah. Like <laughs> Insurrection, they find a new place and they find some new species and they have to deal with this uh, kind of a conflict like they would on the TV show. No one likes Insurrection. I liked it. It was like a really I, long episode. I, I liked it as an adult, hated it as a kid. There you go. Insurrection? Are we talking about the right movie? Yeah, the, the youth planet. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. The stretch faces. Okay, but, but, we, <laughs> yeah, but we, let's compare that to let's compare that to some of the other movies. like First Contact was amazing. First Contact is my favorite. Nemesis yeah. was all right. Nemesis was a, awesome. No, Nemesis no. was terrible. Nemesis, Nemesis was, I'm not going to agree with it. Was it awesome? <laughs> no, and you the can't best kill data of... and then call it a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, a but question I, at the end, though, did he die? I think my favorite of all the Star Trek movies would have to be one of the original Star Trek movies, Star Trek Four, where they came back to Earth in our time. I thought that was my favorite of all. Of them. Yeah, two, three, and four. I mean, those are episodic stories um, mm-hmm. that you could have turned into not, uh, TV no, shows. No, those are. Those are a trilogy, but no. they're not really. They're more about the the people involved. They're not about like really exploration, to the same extent. Like Khan is someone that comes back from the episodic stuff, but that's about the conflicts with this 
superpower or this this brain yeah, battle which, and self sacrifice. I see about, what you're saying. Yeah. Which actually brings me to the next question I have is, you know, the feel of the movies is different for a reason. Um, just some of the things we just mentioned. You are supposed to have that more action packed. You have to get a whole story start, middle, finish, all at one. You can't stretch it out at all. Um, and I think they did that on purpose with the movies. They do have that, that you know, really tight schedule with it, um, whereas the TV shows were meant to be different. So if you're trying to make a long TV show, is that going to work? I mean, is pe- are people going to want to watch just like a two-hour long episode that doesn't have any more episodes after that? What I think would actually be a really good direction for them to go is if they turned it into the mirror universe and we start seeing the Terran Empire established now that Section 31 is exposed to us and Vulcan is dead and uh, you have no Vulcans to guide humanity and that was like our moral compass in space. And I think it would be really neat to see them explore but also be taking over the galaxy as they go. Well, that would, that would definitely be cool. <laughs> you know, that isn't something you saw. And they kind of have a glimpse in the future knowing that the Romulans in the first one are from the future and they still, nobody, they, they're not very big fans of humans. Maybe they start turning it in the other direction. Well, a group of the Romulans were not. I mean, the Romulans were never got along with humans terribly mm-hmm. well. Romulans this. never got along with anybody. <laughs> no. The Defiant, I think that was about it. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. Romulans never liked anybody but Romulans. So, yeah, that's that's interesting. But I just don't know if you can fit it all in. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm honestly going to watch the movie. Uh, I don't care. I love the first two. I thought J.J. Abrams really rebooted the series very well. But I'm only one person, not a couple million. So let us know what you think. Hit us up. Comments down below. Are you going to go and watch the show? Uh, The movie? Blah. Can't even get that out right. Um, or are you going to pass? you think they should just keep with the regular movie schedule and not have this weird episodic thing? So uh, hit us up, let us know, comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook, and WordsMyFace.com. And also hit Marcos up at The Rip Reviews on YouTube. So let us know what you think. So let's-